Hey, what's up? People Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you about 1986's The Wind. Now, this is partially going to be a review of the movie as well as a review of this new Arrow Video Blu-ray release. The Wind stars Meg Foster as a popular mystery author who rents a house in the isolated Greek countryside where she plans to pen her newest novel. Soon she finds herself stuck between hurricane-like winds and a sickle-wielding madman, played by Wings Hauser. While I'd never seen The Wind before, I was familiar with its very eye-catching poster art. But I was actually more familiar with another movie's poster art that was basically just the poster art from The Wind crudely repurposed. See, the poster art for The Wind was slightly altered and used for the international release of Friday the 13th, A New Beginning. But as far as The Wind is concerned, I'd never seen the film. I've never really heard anybody talk about the film. I went into it entirely blind, and by the end of it, I was very pleasantly surprised. The Wind is a well-crafted, atmospheric cat-and-mouse thriller pitting a smart, resourceful woman against a bat-spit crazy maniac. First, I love the shooting locations and the scenic cinematography. The picturesque countryside and beautiful village where the film takes place are very much characters in the wind, and their presence is felt throughout. Director Nico Mastriakis supplies the wind with plenty of moody atmospherics, blanketing the film in fog and the ever-present howling of the wind. The performances are all fantastic. Meg Foster carries this film like a champ. She talks herself through various situations as if she were writing the scenarios in one of her books. This reminded me a lot of Mike Flanagan's Hush. Foster never appears out of control in the wind. She is definitely not a helpless damsel in distress. Steve Railsback plays a traveler stuck on the island due to the storm. He enters the picture at around the midway point and, in another movie, would play the hero. Here he only thinks he's the hero. Wingshauser delivers a great performance. He plays unhinged characters so well, so effortlessly, and with such authorial sentiment. It makes me wonder, is he even acting? Hauser also delivers some great lines here, like, Why does everybody make me kill them? And, do me a favor, don't die quiet, okay? And even though most of the movie is a two-person show with Hauser trying to get at Foster and Foster preventing him from doing so, the pacing is tight, and Mastriakis is able to create some nice moments of tension and suspense. The last act of The Wind makes you wonder, is any of this really happening, or is it all just taking place in Foster's overactive writer's imagination? Because there's some moments toward the end that just don't make a lot of sense, but the movie leaves that up to the viewer to decide. The Wind also features a classy score from Stanley Myers and Hans Zimmer. The Wind is an extremely well-made, atmospheric thriller that features fantastic performances, beautiful cinematography, tight pacing, and Wings Hauser, wielding a sickle. What more could you want? If you haven't seen The Wind, I recommend it. Go and check it out. As for this Blu-ray release from Arrow Video, first let's take a look at the presentation. We've got some very nice newly commissioned artwork on the sleeve. Just beautiful artwork there. A clear Blu-ray case. You guys know I love clear Blu-ray cases. On the back of the sleeve, we've got the plot synopsis. We've got the list of special edition contents and the technical specs. There is the Blu-ray for the wind. This release also comes with a booklet on the film featuring a write-up by Kat Ellinger. The booklet also features some very nice full-color images from the film. And on the reverse of the sleeve, we have the original poster artwork for The Wind. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. As far as the picture quality and sound quality are concerned, this release features a brand new restoration by Arrow Films, approved by writer-director Nico Mastrakis, high definition 1080p Blu-ray presentation. That's all it says back here, but I thought the picture quality on this release was fantastic. I thought the wind looked beautiful on this release from Arrow Video. I'd give the picture quality a solid four out of five. Same with the audio quality. I thought the movie sounded great on this release also. As far as extras are concerned, 
First up, we get Blowing the Wind, a new interview with director Nico Masterakis. It's 28 minutes and 17 seconds in length. Mr. Masterakis discusses his philosophy as a filmmaker, which entails him being very hands-on with his films. He discusses the film's restoration. He discusses casting Meg Foster, Steve Railsback, and, Wing and Wingshauser, who he does not speak very highly of. He discusses the shooting location, his love of horror and thrillers, and much more. Very nice, unique interview with Mr. Masterakis. Next we get The Sound of the Wind. It's the complete soundtrack composed by Hans Zimmer and Stanley Myers. Beautiful, beautiful music composed for this film. We get the alternate Edge of Terror opening credits. Edge of Terror was the original title for The Wind. We get the original trailer. We get the 2020 reissue trailer. Uh, we get the Nico Mastriakis trailer gallery and we get image galleries. This is a really nice release for the wind from the fine folks over at Aero Video. Both the picture quality and the sound quality are fantastic and we get a great interview with the writer and director. Again, if you haven't seen the wind, I highly recommend it. I'll post a link to Aero Video's website down in the description. Go over and check them out. If you've seen the wind, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and until next time, peace. A big thank you to all my awesome Patreon supporters. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for monthly live streams and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Patreon.com forward slash Pizal or follow the link in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.